Good evening, fellas. I uh, decided to get my camera out so I could uh, record some of these uh, shocker bodies that I'm milling today. This is uh, NXTI milling, which is a little bit different than the uh, previous eye milling that I was doing a couple months, years ago, which was uh, drilling the body for a 3mm custom installed eye. This is a little bit different of a process. I uh, started doing this a little bit uh, ago and I wanted to go ahead and show how it's done, what's different about it. This right here is a dynasty that I've uh, already milled. You can see that there's a small recess in order to hold the uh, NXTI, which sinks a little bit further down compared to the SFTI. Uh, the milling is also compatible with SFT uh, ribbon, even though I don't think that's really necessary because the other side of the gun already works with the SFT, but whatever, no big deal. Uh, here's a old shocker, that's what they look like uh, pre-modification, and there's post-modification. Uh, this video will be a little bit different than the last one I made because this machine is different. But uh, that's no big deal here. Let me make sure this works. Okay, it turns out I can't film this and operate the coolant manually, so I'm just going to slow everything down a little bit. And uh, hopefully nothing will break. We'll give it a try. Here we go. Oh, hold on. Okay, here we go. There's the tool. Let me get this right. All right. Here we go. Ah, okay, that right there is the first step. That's the... Uh, cover section that allows the uh, eye cover to sit in there. Next we're going to spot drill it and then drill it. Spot drill. Another drill. Uh, now this section here is for the actual eye slot itself. I'm going to slow this way down. Okay. Just can't really see it, but. Keep going. see the uh, eye slot has been created along with the uh, little depressions for the various eye ribbons to sit inside. Next I believe we're going to tap it. Put a little goo in there. There we go. Gotta keep the tap from breaking. Threads are only uh, partially made. I do the rest of them by hand. I just want to get them started on the machine, that way they're straight. But I can't risk uh, breaking off a tap in the body. That'd be very bad. And this is just a little deburring pass that will clean up the inside of that. All right, that's it.
Okay, that right there is all done. Uh, the only thing to do now is to move it over to this other vise over here and uh, do the angled uh, drilling hole for the eye, uh, eye ribbon to slip down through the body. But we'll do that in a little bit. Hey, we're back. All right, I got my angled fixture set up. I'm almost ready to drill this toxic body, but first I'd like to uh, quickly go through and show everyone what I'm doing just in case there's any uh, fellow machinists out there or math geeks or whatever that want to know what's going on. Uh, this here is a dynasty body that I've uh, already gone through and done. Uh, you can see the hole right there, goes all the way down through. What I have to do in order to mill this is uh, position the body at an angle. Let me get this right. Yeah, there we go. Position the body at an angle so that the drill bit passes from the side down to the bottom by missing the breech right here and missing the little gas gallery that's in the bottom of the body. Um, now, the stock bodies are actually drilled a little bit more complicated than this. They're uh, drilled not only at an angle from the front, but they're also drilled at a slight angle when looking at the body from the side. It looks kind of like that. You can see it from the side there and from the top like that. Um, these angles are just kind of the way that Smart Parts figured out was best to arrange the internals of the gun but it makes it difficult to do this by hand. Now what I used to do was actually drill this uh, by hand uh, with a drill press, uh, which is, which is kind of risky, but you know, there, was, there was no other way for me to do it back in the day. Uh, the stock bodies, like this one I have here, the stock bodies are actually milled, I found out, in a way that when you position it like this, the drill bit that goes through the hole is actually almost vertical, so it's just sitting here on the, on the uh, stock milling and the hole kind of just goes straight down through and that's how I used to do it. You got to be really careful doing it and I also used a smaller drill bit than the one uh, that the stock side uses but you know that's that's the only way to do it if you don't have uh, equipment available but these days I have a little bit more available to me so I've uh, taken the time to learn all the angles that are necessary to make this and what I used to do once I got smart was I used this here which is called a sign vise what this does is you can adjust the angle uh, up and down based on how much space you want in there if you just do the math, you know, the trigonometry for it. Um, and what you have to do is position it up at this angle and then also position it up at this angle. And then that gets you uh, a compound angle that goes straight down through there. Um, now after time I ended up doing this so often that I just decided to make a, a special fixture to do it instead. And what that does is it holds the body using the same fixture that I already used to drill the uh, cover in the side. I just bolt on this angled uh, piece of aluminum here that positions it already at the right angle that direction and the right angle from the front. And that basically does everything for you. Um, it took a lot of time to make everything because it all has to be precise in order to get the math correct to go from these corners to the front. But, you know, that's the way it is. Uh, I'll get rid of this. Alright, almost there. Now what the program is going to do that actually cuts this is it's going to take a uh, end mill and it's going to come down in and create a small hole. Uh, and that's going to be the starter hole that goes down through there. And then once that's finished, the actual drill that's in there right now, the actual drill will come down and finish the hole all the way down in the middle. But I found out I had to use a starter hole to get everything right. Alright, now once again I'm going to have to slow everything down in order to make sure the uh, program works without coolant. But that's no big deal. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that's all finished. Uh, as you can see, it's a whole lot of work ahead of time in order to create 
probably 10 seconds of actual machining, but well, that's just the way it goes. Hey look, there it is all done. Uh, it's a little bit easier to see on this uh, polished body here than that toxic, but get the idea. You can see it goes all the way down through. Through from the bottom. Uh, shout out to Smart Baller. He's the guy that owns most of these bodies that I'm doing today. Uh, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed watching this. I hope. Maybe you learned something. I don't know. I'll uh, see you next time. Thanks.